Hi, in this session we will review the basic functionality of unit of measurements in AX2012. In Microsoft Dynamics AX2012, a product cannot be sold or purchased unless a unit of measure is associated with it. We first must specify all units of measure that a company uses. A product might be purchased in pounds, stock in tons, and sold in cages. In other words, we may purchase the product in one unit, maintain inventory in another unit, and sell it in another unit. User can specify same or different unit of measurement for purchase, inventory, and sales, but conversion must exist be between these units if they are different. Let us understand what is unit class. Unit class represents a logical grouping of units of measure, such as area, mass or length. For example, meter and feet belongs to length unit class, whereas tons and kg belongs to mass unit class. If different unit of measurement are associated with product, unit conversion from one unit to another unit must exist. When a conversion is set up from one unit to the other, you must also create the conversion the opposite way. For example, 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg and 1 kg is equal to 0 0.001 ton. You can set up standard conversion rules or product specific conversion rules. If both a product specific and a standard conversion rule exist for a unit of measure, the product specific conversion rule is used to convert units of measure for the product. Product specificity is important because, for example, a pack of one type of product might contain 5 pieces whereas a pack of another type of product might contain 10 pieces. Therefore, a unit pack can be used for different quantities of pieces dependent on the product. Unit conversion can be classified into three types of category, standard conversion, intra-class conversion, and inter-class conversion. Let us review them one by one. Standard conversions. Set up standard conversion rules that apply for all products. Notice that standard conversion rules can only be set up for units of measure in the same unit class. Then intra-class conversions. Set up product specific conversion rules for units of measure in the same unit class. Intra-class conversions are product specific. For example, you can set up a conversion rule for a product that converts pieces to boxes. Pieces and boxes both reside in the quantity unit class. Inter-class conversions. Set up product specific conversion rules for units of measure across unit classes. For example, you can set up a conversion rule for a product that converts kilogram to liters. Kilograms reside in the mass unit class and liters reside in the liquid volume unit class. Let us understand what is the base unit. Unit of measure can be defined as the base unit within the unit's unit class. The base unit helps streamline the conversion setup for a unit of measure. When a base unit is defined within a unit class, the number of conversion rules between the unit of measures in the class can be limited. Say that you have a conversion rule that enables conversion from ton to kg and another conversion rule that enables conversion from kg to pound. If you have specified kg as the base unit in the mass unit class, you can convert from pounds to ton without a conversion rule between these two units. Let us understand what is unit creation wizard. Activate the unit creation wizard to help you create different standard units and conversions. In new installations of Microsoft Dynamics AX, the standard units and conversions are created automatically using the unit creation wizard. Let us review the product demonstration for the same. Units form can be located under the organization and administration, under the setup, under the units field group, then click on units. Here all the unit of measurement that a company uses are listed. We will create a new unit of measure, look at the required fields and then set up a unit conversion with respect to another unit. So we say we create a unit. It's a 2.5 kg box. So one box is equal to 2.5 kg. That will be our unit conversion with respect to kg. This is a box of 2.5 kg. Give a brief description. 
2.5 kg of then under the classification fill group we must assign the unit class that is we have a different choices and we can assign the most relevant one so that belongs to quantity unit class box spaces age these are all belongs to quantity unit class then system of units whether you want to have a unit based on metric units or United States customary units you can refer to Wikipedia for more details about this however for now we select none then whether this unit is a base unit within this unit class or not so if we assign it as a base unit and if there are already existing unit then system would give a warning because there can be only one base unit within the each unit class hence there is there is already another unit which exists as a base unit we cannot mark this unit as a base unit then system unit then system unit there can be only one system unit again and uh, system unit for example if we define kg as a system unit then uh, the net weight uh, gross weight which are on the product master will be def will be expressed in terms of kg if we define pound as a system unit then all those weights will be defined in terms of pound so if we try to select system unit now system will give a warning if there is already another unit which is set up as a system unit so we cannot select this and uh, here we can set up the decimal precision for this particular unit up to how many decimals we want to maintain an accuracy for this unit so we say we want to maintain since this is the 2.5 kg box it will always be integer value one box two box three box so we don't need to maintain a decimal precision for the same so we have successfully created a 2.5 kg box unit then as a next step we will set up the unit conversions select the unit of measure for which you want to set up the unit conversions in the units form and then click on unit conversions so as you can see here we have a standard conversions standard conversions are not a product specific which will be applicable to all products so when we create a new here we don't have an option to select any product however in our case we want to set up a unit conversion between 2.5 kg box which belongs to quantity unit class and uh, kg which belongs to mass unit class so we have to set up a interclass conversions click on interclass conversion and create a new so first thing is we need to select a product for intra class and inter class conversion product specificity is mandatory so we select the let's say it's a speaker box so this is a speaker product and uh, we want to set up a unit conversation so this is the here is the factor so we tell the system that one box of 2.5 kg is equal to how many kg so it's a 2.5 kg is equal to one box we leave the numerator and denominator as one and select two unit as kg here we can see that one box of 2.5 kg is equal to 2.5 kgs we can also use calculator here so when we say two box of 2.5 kg is equal to how much so it's a 5 kg if four box then it's a 10 kg we can use the calculator to verify the calculation now let us understand denominator numerator numerator will multiply the factor and denominator will divide the factor so we can alternatively also set up like this way 10 kg but divide that divide by 4 so 10 into 1 divided by 4 that is again 2.5 kg here we see the conversion result one box of 2.5 kg is equal to 10 kg divided by 4 kg that is 2.5 kg again we can verify the calculation so as we can see one box is 2.5 kg four boxes 10 kg this is a little strange way to set up this conversation but I have just explained the application of numerator and denominator and last we can uh, have the rounding we have three options rounding up rounding down and to the nearest integer value 
so we can use after the conversion whatever figure is coming out how you want to round up that can be determined using this similarly we can also set up the intra class which is again a product specific we need to select the product okay other field remains same and standard conversion we don't have a product specificity and uh, it is always applicable for all products so this is how you can set up the unit conversion alternatively if you want to set up a unit conversion for a specific product you can go to product information management release product and uh, select the product for which you want to set up unit conversion and uh, let's say if you want to set up for home theater system then select that particular product under the product action menu under the setup group click on unit conversion here we will only see the product specific unit conversions if any exist so again if we create a new here we can see the product is getting selected by default but otherwise the procedure is same then also let us also review the three different unit of measure which product can be associated with so for example if i open the road bicycle we have a first we'll minimize all the fast step yeah so the purchase unit the unit of measure in which product is purchased can be linked under the purchase fast step expand the purchase fast step and here you can link a purchase unit it is pieces however in this case all are pieces so we is, we purchase the bicycle in pieces we sell them in pieces and we maintain the stock in a pieces however this can be a different unit for example we purchase the bicycle in a box each box is a five pieces of bicycle and we maintain our inventory in pieces then a unit conversion between box and pieces with respect to this product must exist then system will automatically convert the inventory so this is all about uh, unit of measurement in microsoft dynamics x2012 thank you thank you for watching this video